Every girl knows she needs to do a little dance to get into her jeans. The day you've all been waiting for, no, the video you've all been waiting for. <laughs> but first, let's get my booty workout in, because I need it. Um, I did squats, I told you guys, because I was really sore. I'm still sore. Um, I focused on squats. I did um, high rep, low rep, heavy, everything you can think of. I even jumped on a Smith machine when I was pooped. Apparently, I pushed it a little too much. With squats, I never know when enough is enough, you know, because you're dying during the step, and then after, you're like, eh, I can do another one. So yeah, I'm paying for that now. So I'm reversing my workout to leave squats at the end if I even do them. If not, next leg day, I'm going to really work on squats again and kind of do that like back and forth because squats take up a lot of my time, a lot of my energy, and I can't put my all into the rest of my workouts. By the way, I love my hair till I saw the video that we posted the last video. I'm like, why is it so red? It doesn't look like that. It was the camera settings. It made me red, it made my hair red. He fixed it. Maybe I'm green now. I don't know. <laughs> he, he said I'm more to like real life, right? Like if you look at me and you look in there, we're kind of the same. Um, yeah, so the camera settings have been a little different and they've been more red, but this is the hair color. This is day two of not being washed, right? Or is it day three? Day three? I'm not being washed. I don't know. It's pretty good for not being washed, but um, that's what it looks like. I feel like uh, it toned down a little bit, which that's what I like. Um, but now I, I like it. At first, I'm like, oh my god, it's so red. What was I looking at? I'm like, no, no, no. We got to change it. But then we realized it was the camera settings. We don't know when that changed. It could have been whenever. It's been a couple of videos now. Um, when, when we did the wall, right? Yeah, because lately you he'd like take a photo of me, and I'm like. It looks weird. Why does it look so weird? Like, it doesn't look like real life. It looks strange to me. Um, but hopefully he fixed that. Anyways, we're gonna start with pelvic raises. I added a little bit of weight on. I can do heavier. Only problem is it's starting to hurt uh, this area. Like, I could put 25s on. Um, but because I told you guys my sponge is breaking through, I think I'm starting to feel everything, as you can see. So, um, I can't go super heavy, but this will be heavy enough, because I don't like that I'm doing really high reps. So let's start with this. And I'll probably have somebody say, well, why don't you move the bar like lower so that it's not sitting there? Here's the thing, guys. You want it to sit there because that's where your booty is. Um, I've seen girls do it where it's much higher here. You're not really engaging the butt at that point. Um, I'll probably show you a demo of what happens when the bar is not in place. Oh, you want to feel it, huh? Oh, when they put it on their chest. <laughs> when they put it on their chest? Oh, okay, yeah, they're like hugging the weight. They'll put like a plate and they'll hug it and then they're doing these and you're just like, hmm, why is the weight on your boobs? Are you growing your boobs? <laughs> Not that that's a thing, guys. I'm just kidding about that. Um, but no, like if you have the weight too high and you have it too low, maybe when you have it too low, it won't affect it too much, but it is uncomfortable, so I don't know how you're doing it if you are doing it that way. But when you have it way too high up, it's kind of taking away from what you're trying to achieve. He wasting just brought me a towel. Hopefully it helps. Yeah, you're wasting your time. Ugh. It's not a very thick towel. <laughs> I thought you were bringing me like a cushion cushion. I'm like, oh, you're bringing me a pillow? Cool. He brought me a towel. <laughs>
So that's it for my workout. This is a good session. Uh, a couple of you keep asking me, do cardio videos, do machine videos, and I'm not trying to be rude, I'm not trying to ignore it, but I don't do cardio, guys. Why show you guys something that I do when I don't do it, you know? Like, this is the thing I hate when people do, is they do fancy workouts just for show, just for content, that they don't actually waste their time doing because they're not effective, they're gonna get nowhere doing them. Uh, not that I'm saying cardio is not effective, but it's not what I do. So if I dedicate a video to cardio when I don't really do it, my cardio is jump rope and hula hoop, if that's even considered cardio. Other than that, I don't do cardio. Obviously, I don't have machines. <laughs> I, I do free weights at home. And honestly, I think free weights are better. If you have machines, use them to assist you if you wish. But I'm not going to go to a gym and use machines just for a video. If you guys get what I mean. Like, I'm doing things to show you guys you don't need a shit ton of cardio and you don't need a bunch of machines in order to get progress you don't need a gym um, I have a Smith machine but I don't really use it very often I use it to rack my squat bar on it <laughs> and then like uh, what are those leg presses and things like that um, which I kind of go on and off Long story short, I don't do cardio, um, that's my preference, I don't need it. If I do cardio, I have to eat more, you guys know this, I tell you guys this all the time. And I'm never going to show you guys something that I personally don't do. Just like I don't have my clients doing things I don't personally do. Because if I don't find it effective, why share it? Um, but I just wanted to clear that up, I'm not trying to be rude, I'm just, I'm going to show you what I do. Take it or leave it. <laughs> Anyways, let's go eat. This is my gym. This is all I have, free weights, free weights. My Smith machine just to make it look pretty. No, I'm just kidding. Smith machines are very handy. You can do a lot of stuff with them, not just squats, but different variation squats. You can do lunges on them. You can do um, controlled finishers like deadlifts. I've shown you guys how to do deadlifts here where I lower the weight after doing my regular um, deadlifts. I go on the machine and just go all out like crazy. I do leg presses. Um, so for that reason, I like it. It's a great, it's a great piece of machine, but this is all I have. Um, my only machine. Anyways, let's go eat. I'm so pooped. Off we go. <laughs> we are here. I can't wait to stuff myself in the sun. Right? You love him, okay? First plate, more to come. <laughs> And plate number two after this party dessert. You gotta leave some spice for dessert. I ate most of it already, but we had another one of those and a coffee one. Thank you. All right, so as promised, the jean haul. Um, how I buy my jeans, there are three rules that I live by. It's a must if you want to show off your curves, if you want to improve how your booty looks, or not necessarily improve it, but just allow it to shine through, then these three tips are gonna be really helpful. Um, it's things I learned along the way, just seeing how jeans fit. Um, I studied them very much. <laughs> so I've got a bunch of different pairs here. Um, this is just a pretty dark color with a little ruffle, uh, roughed up but there's really no holes 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 in that one uh, lighter pair I usually like lighter jeans um, this one is pretty roughed up um, I used to care about the length because I have really long legs and very tall so it would annoy me that almost always I flooded in jeans now I really don't mind if it goes like up to here I'll probably roll it up and make it look like that's how the jean was supposed to be um, and then with boots it's perfectly fine because the boots cover it anyways um, but I like that style so I'm, I'm not that picky about that anymore a pretty clean pair just with the slits in the knees uh, black pair because hubby said you can never go wrong with having one pair of black in your closet I agree but I ain't crazy about them just because I feel like they take away your shape um, and they hide everything you've worked so hard for 
for that reason I don't really like black and I feel like I wore so much black hiding as a teenager I only wore black or white believe it or not I had this weird idea that black hit everything and white made me look tan which I liked that when I was younger I was super tan all the time um, so that's why I've kind of like steered away from black and now I like colors um, army green I really love these only downfall is everything is a size 7 except for these and um, that's because they didn't have a size 7 so I took a chance and just did size 5 and yeah I can tell the difference <laughs> I mean they're still pretty cute but they do squeeze a little um, that is the only downfall of these so let's get started uh, you want to how should we start these are my three favorite I gotta say uh, and then these two so should we do one of the favorite ones <laughs> We're going to do the ones with the slits. Um, I believe these are your favorite. These are his favorite. So we'll try these on first. <laughs> Every girl knows she needs to do a little dance to get into her jeans. I always have to be careful because I ripped a pair of really cute jeans while trying them. Well, try, not trying them on, trying to put them on um, because my <laughs> my toes went inside the rip and yeah, it was terrible. So now I do the whole like ballerina toes when I do it. Um, okay, very first rule because you're gonna see it in all the jeans. They need to be medium. Uh, is it called medium waist? Let me think of the word. Mid rise. No. Yes. No. Mid waist, mid rise, mid waist. There's low, there's low raise. No. High raise. High raise, yes, but there's low, low waist, mid waist, and and high waist. There we go. Jeez, wow. Um, anyways, I go for mid, always mid, and the reason for that um, is if you do have excess fat around your love handles, it will kind of smush it. So for every size. It will flatter you. Um, but the other thing is, it allows your booty to shine through. And if you do have a butt, when you bend, you're not worried that everyone's going to see everything all the time. They stay a little bit higher up. I just feel like they they hug your butt better. They, they show it off as opposed to wearing something that ends here. Can you see how like that would kind of take away the booty curve if, if the pants ended right there? Um, and then high waist is really cute, but for me, I just, I don't like it. <laughs> I feel like the pockets always look funny. Maybe I haven't found a really good pair of high-waisted uh, pants, but for me, I've always found these to be the absolute best. Um, very stretchy pants. I love where they end. If I want to roll them up a little bit higher, I can. Um, and wear them with heels. Ah, I'm gonna fall over. <laughs> wear them with heels and they look cute. So I really love these. The feel of them, super comfortable. Um, probably, yeah, one of the favorites. <laughs> All right, so let's do the lighter pair of jeans. I love light jeans. All right, so these are the light pair. I remember actually not liking them at first. He picked them out, but I didn't like them because of the pockets. Um, and this is because it's that like, uh, what should I say? The, the popular pockets that came out to show off your butt and I felt like it wasn't your butt that looked good, it was the pockets that looked good. <laughs> so for that reason, I was very hesitant about these pants, but I ended up actually liking them a lot. Um, the, the other thing I would say that I always look for jeans is stretch. There has to be some stretch in there if you have gains to show off. Now think about it this way. Um, leggings, stretchy, they show off your curves. Cardboard does not show off your, your curves. Um, I used to buy a lot of jeans that were super hard. So they would smush your butt um, and they would just, they, they would never flatter. Here you can tell they're stretched so it molds to you nicely. Um, they just fit better when they stretch. So that's another thing to always look for. Overall, I like these. <laughs> He just took the tag off my butt because I guess it was a pretty big tag. I didn't see it. Um, so here are the pants again and the booty. Very nice stretch to them. I like them a lot. All right, next pair, these. <clears throat> okay, these are the next ones. They actually reached the bottom. Isn't that insane? I thought I would never ever find pants like that unless you literally buy uh, long or tall pants. I, I forgot what the what the word is because I don't buy them anymore. Um, super cute detail in the front. I like the color a lot. They are stretched, but they seem a little bit tighter than the other ones, even though I do believe that they're a size 7. 
Yep, size seven, but they still feel a little bit different. Um, another thing I look for in all pants, this is the deal breaker of the pants. Um, I don't mind color too much. I'll give away, uh, give up a little bit of stretch, but pockets. These are cutting it close. These are as low as I will ever have pockets. Oh, I told you. Um, Huh? And I told you. He did tell me, but I was like, but they're so cute. Uh, and I was kind of hoping there would be a little bit higher. This is the end of my butt, so it's okay. If pockets ever go below this point, I will not buy it. You're asking for trouble. That just looks horrible. No matter how fit of a butt you have, it'll all be thrown down the toilet when you put on a pair of pants like that. Um, it is super important, important that the pockets be lifted a little bit, um, which will allow the shape of your butt to take place. Because now imagine them lower, like you don't know where the butt starts, ends, or where it is. Um, and then it, uh, it doesn't look saggy. <laughs> So pockets are a huge thing. I was getting really annoyed for some time because I felt like companies were, were missing this very important detail. How many jeans would I try on where the pockets were like, why are they on my, like, they would literally be on my hammies and I'd be like, what is going on there? That looks terrible. Um, so that is the number one deal breaker. If I see the pockets are below the butt cheeks, even a little bit, I will not buy it. This is a little bit cutting it close. The other two will probably show a little clip on the side. Um, those are really high up, and I think that's why he probably likes them the most because pockets do matter for him a lot. Um, I'll show you the black now, even though there's nothing to see. <laughs> He's gonna make this clip a little bit brighter, um, just so you guys can see the detail. Black gets washed, not washed out. Black just. It, yeah, there we go. Um, good quality jeans. They are very stretchy. I love that they're mid-waist. Mid-waist usually for me is just below the belly button. Once it's covering the belly button, that's considered high waist and I don't like it. Um, so the fit is good. I love the little peekaboo, although it doesn't really end on my knees because I have very long legs. It's supposed to end here, <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, booty looks good if you can see it. Looks great. Doesn't smush. Overall, good pants besides the fact they're black. <laughs> no, I mean, they, they do look cute. I guess it's just my last choice. That's what I should say, but overall, very nice pants. These are the only size fives. I don't know if I mentioned, but all of these were size sevens, um, and this one is a size five. I'll show you what happens when you buy a size too small. <laughs> Last tip, buy the correct size. That is very important. <laughs> now what happens when you don't buy the correct size, booty looks smaller because it is smushing it as hard as possible. Like I feel like it, it was very hard to put them on. Um, so booty gets a little bit smushed and therefore something you've worked so hard for gets eliminated by the pair of pants that you choose to buy. No matter how cute they are, do not settle. I always find myself doing that. I'm like, oh, but they're so cute. It'll be fine, it'll be fine. Well, it's not horrible, but as you can tell, the booty does not pop the way it popped in those, right? Don't be in denial. Don't be in denial. I'm always in denial. You always are. Well, I guess it, I know, because I knew that I was a seven, but it was the only size available, and I really like pants, yeah, so. Yeah, when you went in size nine. From the front, they look good, though. Can't go wrong from the front. I, yeah, I, was, I went all the way up to a size nine. And my biggest for my bulk. Now I'm a size seven. I went back down to size seven. Um, but overall, cute pants. I just wish that they had a size seven. I wish that I didn't buy the size five. <laughs> but um, overall, they're, they're actually very, very cute. I like them. So something I want you guys to get out of all this is clothes make a difference. Um, I think a lot of times we don't dress ourselves in a way that complements our body type. And for that reason, we can feel insecure, just feel like, oh, we look so blah. But in reality, it is the piece of clothing you're wearing. There's lots of times where you put on um, outfit that just looks perfect. It hugs you the right way, it flatters you the right way, and you feel great and you have a great day. And then there are days where you put on a pair of pants that you're kind of like, I don't know, I look blah on these, you know, and that's kind of the attitude you carry throughout the day, feeling blah or not your best. Um, and it is important. If you really are, if you care about how you feel, it is important that you dress properly um, according to what makes you feel comfortable, but also knowing what flatters you and what you probably shouldn't wear. 
Um, and that's why a lot of low waist is not good because I've seen it go wrong and where girls are like, oh, well, I don't have a butt, you know, or, you know, I have really big love handles and low waist is very unforgiving. Uh, if you have any bit of fat there and you're wearing a size too small, what happens? You get squeezed, all of a sudden you have these big love handles that are bigger than your booty and you're like, oh, I look disgusting. Do you look disgusting? No, the pants. Or what are disgusting so it's like things like that that you have to figure out what looks good and what doesn't um, on you personally or what you find to be attractive like for me I don't really wear short dresses I hate short dresses I wore them for a time um, not really knowing why I wore them because I thought it was sexy to wear them but now if you look at my closet like my dresses and skirts they're pretty long penciled um, because I know that that flatters me and I feel more sexy I feel confident in that instead of something short that I'm always tugging at um, and also wearing mini sometimes, um, what is it? It takes away your shape. And when you wear something a little bit longer, you allow your shape to show through. Um, in my opinion, again, you know, if you feel good in a mini, then you should wear a mini, but also make sure that it flatters your body so that you can feel good. Um, because I've seen the fittest bodies dressed incorrectly where it makes them look like they aren't fit or they don't have like the best body that you know that they have you're like she has a really good body but you know this outfit is not justifying your body so keep that in mind when you buy clothes make sure you pay attention to them no just buy whatever uh look in the get a second opinion <laughs> he's my second opinion i do not take any girl shopping with me because every time i used to in the past and by the past i mean like years years ago um i would come home and he would point out everything that was not complimentary about what I picked not to be mean but he's always been very honest so like I'd be like oh, I bought these new pants what do you think he's like uh. <laughs> so he'll tell me and I'd end up returning everything because the person I took I'm not gonna say um, who didn't really care they had no interest you know and I don't blame them because they weren't shopping for themselves so why would they care you know or they just really wanted you to look like crap. There are people like that that exist. Um, so they tell you, yeah, sure, those look amazing on you, but in reality, they don't. Um, so second opinions help. Make sure you trust the person who gives you the second opinion if it is very difficult for you because sometimes we perceive ourselves differently than others. Um, and I know this because all my clients will be like, oh, my booty's shrinking. I'm like, what? Your booty's big. It ain't shrinking, <laughs> you know, but we see ourselves differently. If you like the pants, they will all be linked in the description box. This is kind of why I did it for you guys, so that you guys can also find the same pair of pants. I didn't want to put on last year's pants where I'm like, I don't know, I bought it from Old Navy. Good luck, you know? So everything is freshly bought um, and all from one area, Amazon. The top as well. Fair warning, though. I would never wear this in public, ever. Maybe I'll wear it in the house to tease him. But as far as wearing it in public, it is not.